Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to your first episode of Gen Chem Boot Camp. So before we get really entrenched and get hot and heavy with hardcore organic chemistry, I want to rehash Gen Chem and make sure we have the same fundamentals on our way through organic chemistry one and two. So our first step on that journey is rehashing how to draw Lewis dot structures. Now I know this might be old hat for some of you, so I might go a little quickly through it, but I'm still going to do a thorough explanation. Okay. So the three master rules for drawing Lewis structures that are completely foolproof are over here. So the first thing you need to do is determine how many electrons you're working with. So you know where to throw lone pairs and single, double, or triple bonds. The other, this is the foolproof way to do it. So if you just draw the molecular skeleton, just how the atoms are laid out, and then you fill everybody's octet, aka give everybody eight electrons or two electrons to hydrogen. And then, if you reevaluate and count your total number of electrons, if you're good and those two numbers match, then you're done. Or if you're over and you've used too many electrons, then you need to consolidate some lone pairs into double or triple bonds if need be. And while these words look nice, let's do some examples to actually see how this works out and see it illustrated. Okay, so we're going to do three problems. And don't worry, I have plenty of uh, practice for you guys in the worksheet. So let's draw methane first, okay? So I don't have a periodic table up here sh for you guys, but columns in the f or carbon is in the fourth column of the periodic table, so he brings four electrons to the table from his valence shell. Hydrogen in the first column brings one electron to the table, and since we have four hydrogens, that means we have four electrons for a grand total of eight electrons, okay? So I know this one is pretty simple, but it makes sense to throw carbon in the middle of this structure. So if we're going to draw our skeleton, if you will, I'm going to put carbon in the middle and surround him with hydrogen. Okay? And now I'm going to fill everybody's octet, give eight electrons to every atom, and then two to hydrogen. So I'll bond all of these guys together. Okay? So we've drawn the skeleton, we've filled everybody's octet. And now we're going to count our electrons and see how it matches up to the total. Two, four, six, eight. We have eight electrons, so we're good to go. We just owned drawing methane's Lewis dot structure. So I know what you're thinking. Okay, Joe, that was super easy. And I guess it was. But let's kick it up a little bit of a notch. Erase this. So let's try something a little bit more interesting. Let's draw the loose dot structure for carbon dioxide. Okay, so let's figure out our total number of electrons. Step number one. Four electrons from carbon. On the periodic table, oxygen is in the sixth column, so he'll bring six electrons to the table. Multiply that by two, because we have two oxygens. That means 12 electrons contributed from oxygen. Add that total up, we have 16 electrons. Okay, so now I'm going to draw my skeleton. Oxygen on one side, oxygen on the other side, and now I'm going to just fill everybody's octet. So I'm going to give eight electrons to carbon, two, four, six, eight. I'm going to fill oxygen's octet, two, four, six, eight. Remember, bonds count as two electrons. And then I will do the same thing over here. Okay, so we've drawn the skeleton, we've filled the octet. Now let's figure out if our Electrons here match up with our, the ones we're allowed to use. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Damn. Okay, we've gone too far. We've used more than we're allowed. So what we need to do now is use step number three, and we need to consolidate some electrons by making some double bonds. So if I were to eliminate these guys and make a double bond right here, let's see where that takes us. So I didn't touch anything over here. I didn't touch that lone pair. We're now double bonded over here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Okay, better, but not there yet. So we need to get rid of two more electron pairs. So let's make a double bond between these two atoms. Get rid of this, get rid of that.
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Bam. So we just nailed carbon dioxide. So you can see that although it's not the most efficient process and you won't have to do this every time after you've gotten a little bit of practice with Lewis dot structures, it's methodical and it always works. Okay, so I'm going to erase this. I hope that's okay. Kind of low on space because I wrote those rules over there. So now let's do one more example. All right, this molecule HCN called hydrocyanic acid. This is our next victim, okay? So, step number one, count our total number of electrons. One electron from hydrogen, four from carbon, and nitrogen is in the fifth column, so he brings five electrons to the table for a grand total of 10 electrons, okay? So, turns out this skele the skeletal structure is laid out exactly how this is written. So I'll write H, C, N. All right, fill everyone's octet. Four to everybody, two to, uh, eight to everybody, my, my excuse, two to hydrogen. Okay, there we go. All right, so now let's count. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, right? Four too many. So let's make a double bond. I'm going to erase these guys. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Still too, too many. So let's do it again and let's make a triple bond. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And everyone has a full octet. Hydrogen has 2. Carbon has 2, 4, 6, 8. And nitrogen has 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, so a little simple. I figured you guys have already seen Lewis dot structures before. So in the next video, what we'll do is we'll kick it up a notch and it will kind of lead us into a new topic called formal charges and another little topic called resonance. See you in the next video.